Hello children, how are you? In this video number 80, let's continue with The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 8. Children, this scene occurs in a street of Venice where Celerino and Selenio are in conversation acquainting the audience with the recent course of action. Children, here Sherlock is depicted in this scene as a comic character in which the manner in which he laments the loss of his daughter and his ducats. Antonio, in the beginning of the play, Sherlock hates Antonio for commercial as well as religious reasons. But in this scene, he laments the loss of his only daughter who has eloped with Lorenzo, so who is Antonio's friend. So, there is also a forewarning of future events in this scene. Celerino's report on the doomed ship serves as a forewarning. Okay, let's begin this scene. Children, we have Celerino here. He says, Why, man, I saw Bassanio under sail. With him is Graciano gone along. And in their ship, I'm sure Lorenzo is not. So he says to Celerino, they are talking to each other. So, they are just giving information here. We don't have much of the action. Celerino and Selenio in the beginning of the scene are talking to each other. He says, Dear friend, I saw Bassanio sailing. Graciano too went with him. I am sure that Lorenzo was not on the ship. Selenio says, The villain Jew with outcries raised the duke who went with him to search Bassanio's ship. That villain, the Jew, he disturbed the Duke with his outcries, with his complaints. And the Duke went with him to search Bassanio's ship. Serino again says he came too late. The ship was under sail. The ship had already set sail. But there the Duke was given to understand that in a gondola were seen together Lorenzo and his Empress Jessica. Empress means beloved. And the Duke was told that Lorenzo and his beloved Jessica had been seen together sitting in a gondola. Besides, Antonio certified the Duke they were not with Bassanio in his ship. And Antonio also assured the Duke that they were not with Bassanio on his ship. Selenio at this remarks, I never heard a passion so confused, so strange, outrageous and so variable. As the dog Jew did utter in the streets, My daughter, oh my ducats, oh my daughter, fled with the Christian, oh my Christian ducats, justice, the law, my ducats and my daughter, a sealed bag, two sealed bags of ducats, of double ducats, stolen from me by my daughter, and jewels, two stones, two rich, and precious stones. So Selenio is mocking at the ways Shalak was out crying and moving about in the streets. He said, I have never seen such an outburst of anger, so confused. It was so strange, it was so excessive, and it was frequently changing. As the dog, he's calling Shalak a dog Jew. Wicked Jew. He uttered in the streets. And what was Sherlock uttering? My daughter. He shouted on the streets by saying, My daughter, my ducats, oh my daughter. She fled. She looped with the Christian. Oh my Christian ducats. So he is more worried about his ducats rather than his daughter. And he even speaks about sealed bag. Then two sealed bags he mentioned of double ducats. And he said even that it was stolen from him by his daughter. And then he talked about jewels, two gems and two precious stones and two rich and precious stones. He talked about while shouting in the streets of Venice. Stolen by my daughter, justice, find the girl. She had stones upon her and the ducats. So being a father, he should be worried about the daughter. But he is worried that daughter has stolen. So he asks for justice. Find the girl. He wants the justice and he wants the girl back. Why? Not being a daughter, but 
being a thief who has stolen she has the stones upon her and also ducats with her that's why shallock wants her back selino says why all the boys in venice follow him crying his stones his daughter and his ducats selino takes he Uh, enjoys the moment and he says why well at that moment all the boys boys in venice they follow him crying about his diamonds and ducats and his daughter serino says let good antonio look he keep his day or he shall pay for this net at this moment they change the topic now they have they are talking about antonio both are good friends of antonio so they are more worried about antonio that he should make his payment on the day that the bond is due otherwise he may have to pay for the default so you know at this moment says mary well remembered by virgin mary he swore i remember something i reasoned with a frenchman yesterday i spoke to a frenchman yesterday who told me in the narrow seas that part the french and english they miscarried miscarried means wrecked a vessel of our country richly fraught so he said i spoke to i spoke to reasoned with i spoke to a french man yesterday who told me that in the narrow seas between french and english channel they miscarried they wrecked a ship of our country venice which was richly fraught which was rich, uh, richly laid with cargo and at that moment i thought upon antonio i thought of antonio when he told me that frenchman told me and wished in silence and i wished in silence that it were not his that it should not be the ship of antonio selinio at this says you were best to tell antonio what you hear it is best better that you bet- tell antonio what you have heard yet do not suddenly for it may grieve him and do not do this suddenly children whenever we have the news which is very good or a news which is very bad it should not be told to someone immediately it should take time you should take your time to disclose the news so that is how selenio being good friend of antonio is telling him to do it but do not tell him at once because it may make him sad selino selerino says a kind of gentleman treats not the earth so children although we don't have antonio and bassanio in this scene but through selerino we have a character sketch of antonio and antonio and bassanio's friendship so selerino says a kind of gentleman treats not the earth treats means walks so there is there has not been a more generous man walking on this earth then antonio i saw bassanio and antonio part part means parting from each other bassanio told him he would make some speed of his return he promised that he would return as soon as possible he answered do not so who is he here antonio antonio answered do not be in such a hurry to come back slumber not business for my sake do not spoil your business your plan for my sake his business is to woo portia to marry her so but stay the very ripening of the time but stay till the time you attain your objective and for the jews bond which he hath of me let it not enter in your mind of love and as far as jews bond is concerned let it not distract you from your and in your mind of love display of love be merry be happy and employ your chiefest thoughts your main thoughts put your chief thoughts to courtship okay to love and such affairs of love which are which require as shall conveniently become you there and in a more suitable manner do this over there in belmont and even there his eye being big with tears turning his face he put his hand behind him and his eyes and saying all this his eyes filled with tears and he turned his face away and what else he did he extended his hand behind him and with affection wondrous sensible and then moved by his love affection he held he wrung bassanio's hand he held the hands of bassanio and so they parted and so they parted from each other 
Selene would remark at this, I think he only loves the world for him. I pray thee let us go and find him out and quicken his embraced happiness with some delight or other. See how good these friends are. He says that it, he seems to live only for Bassanio's sake. Come, I request you, let us go and find him, find Antonio and quicken his embraced happiness and we will raise his low spirits with some delight or amusement. Sereno says, do we so. Let's go and do it. And they leave, they go out. Children, this finishes your Act 2, Scene 8. So go through the workbook explanation for this scene and also try to solve the extract answers given in the workbook. Thank you children.